to Big Sandy versus Hawkins. We picked this game up in the fourth quarter. Hawkins and Big Sandy, they're playing for playoff position. Uh, you saw both bands onto this one. Hawkins backup quarterback Br Brody Warren passes to Braden Givens, who gets some blocks to get the first down. That's a nice play right there. A little bit later on, Warren is going to hand off to Josiah Welch, who lowers his shoulder, bangs into the end zone, 35-32, Big Sandy. Hawks line up for the two-point conversion here, and it's going to be good as Welch easily gets in. That makes it 35-34, Big Sandy. We're coming down to the wire. We're getting close. Big Sandy trying to eat clock in the fourth down. Caden Smith steps back to pass, looking deep, but dumps it off to Malijah Francis, who gets the loose ball. He gets tackled inside the 10, but they get extra yardage with the face mask penalty. Uh, the Wildcats lined up in victory formation here. Smith going to take a knee, but he never possessed the ball from the center, so the Hawks would recover Ooh. the fumble 1.6 seconds, but with 1.6 seconds for the Hawks to try for a miracle. Warren pitches out to their speedster, Givens, but uh, he's going to get taken down by the Wildcats. And uh, this one, y'all, this one was a nail biter. But the final 35 34, Big Sandy takes it over Hawkins. Man, I think what I'm starting to notice with these last half of highlights that mechanics, 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 it is too late in the season to be making small mistakes like that. You got to have possession of the ball if you're going to get into victory formation. That's important. That's so important. That's important. Or there is no victory formation, That's but they're lucky because things ended up working out, but they were able to get that win. But man, that was <laughs> that was almost really bad for them. But we still have points.